Hello everyone, how are you today? So today we will be learning the last lesson in chapter 11, which is problem solving. Remember problem solving? It's problem solving investigation. We are investigators and we need to solve the problem. Today's strategy is work backward. Remember yesterday when we were doing the guided practice, we had to subtract we have we had to work backward to find the starting time let's see what are we going to do today before we read our problem let's review our four steps when we're solving problems first we understand then we plan then we solve and we cannot finish before we check our answer now let's read the question Belly's picnic starts at 6.15 p.m. He needs to bake three dozen cookies. It takes 10 minutes to bake one dozen cookie. He will need another 20 minutes to get ready and 15 minutes to walk there. What is the latest time he can begin to prepare in order to be on time for the picnic? So, before we start solving, we need to understand the problem. So, what facts do we know? We know that the time... What starts the time? The picnic starts... How long does it take to bake the cookies? Get ready and walk there? These are the things that we know. What is the starting time? 6.15 p.m. How long does it take to bake the cookies? 10 minutes for one dozen. And he needs to bake three dozens. Now, how much time does it take him to get ready? 20 minutes. And how much time to walk there? 15 minutes. So we need to find, what do we need to find? The latest time Bill can begin his preparations. Begin, it means we need to find the start time. Again, the start time is unknown. What is the end time? The end time is the time that he has to be in the picnic, which is 6.15 P M. That is the end time. Now, moving to step two, which is planning. How are we going to plan our, uh, our solving? We will use backward strategy to solve the problem. We will use the backward strategy to solve the problem. Remember, when we are using the backward strategy, we always have our helpful, our helpful hint, which is 60 minutes is 1 hour. 60 minutes is 1 hour. Moving to step 3, which is solving the problem. We will use a number line shown here and we will mark everything in reverse order. Why is it reverse order? Because we don't know the start time. We need to find the start time. The start time is unknown. But do we know the end time? Yes, the end time is 6.15 p.m. That's the end time. Why is it the end time? Because it's the time where the party starts. So Billy should be at the picnic at this time, 6.15. He should be done with everything and at the party with the uh, cookies ready. Let's start by removing step by step. He needs, we said, we know that he has to bake, get ready and walk there. We will start by the 15 minutes walking there. We will remove 15 minutes from the time. So 15 minutes take away, it will be, what is the time now? 6 p.m. Now, from the 6 p.m., we need to remove the 20 minutes where, uh, where he needs to get ready. 
Do we have anything in the minutes? No. So we will take from the hours. We will take how many hours? Only one hour. So six minus, let's write it again. Six minus one is five. So now the hour is five p.m. Now this hour that we took away, we need to do we need to remove it all? No. It, we need to only remove 20 minutes. Why did I write 60? Because one because 60 minutes is one hour. So 60 minus the 20 minutes to get ready is 0 minus 0, 0, 6 minus 2, 4. So it will be 5.40 p.m. So now we removed the time that he needs to walk there, the time that he needs to get ready. Now we need to remove the baking time. They said in the problem that he needs 10 minutes to bake one dozen of cookies but he he will bake three dozens of cookies so we need to remove 10 how many times yes we need to remove it three times so we will subtract we use repeated subtraction to subtract 10 minutes three times let's use it here here we have what we've reached 40 minutes so 40 minus 10 is 30 30 minus 10 is 20 20 minus 10 is 10 we subtracted 10 three times because he needs to bake three dozens and each dozen takes 10 minutes to bake now we've reached what time 5 10 p.m. so 5 10 p.m. is the start time because when we subtracted we subtracted from the minutes we did not take anything from the hours so the hours is still 5 and the minutes became 10 it's 5 10 p.m. so Billy needs to start preparing by 5 10 p.m. Our final step is to check our answer. Does our answer make sense? How can we know that? First, we need to find the, we need to calculate our total time interval. What is our time interval? He needs 15 minutes to walk, plus 20 minutes to get ready, plus 10 minutes for one dozen to bake the cookies, and he has three dozens so three multiplied by 10 is 30 so 15 plus 20 plus 30 is 5 plus 0 plus 0 5 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 3 is 6 so the time interval is 65 minutes now let's add these 65 minutes to the starting time that we found what was the starting time 5 10 p.m. Now let's add the 65 minutes to the starting time and see if if our answer is correct. Now, let's add can we add 65 minutes to the 10? No, that's a lot. Let's add first the 5 minutes. So 10 plus 5 is 15. So now we've reached 5 15 p.m. How many minutes do we have? We used the 5. How many minutes do we have left? 65 minus 5 is 5 minus 5, 0. 6 minus 0 is 6. So we have remaining 60 minutes. 60 minutes is what? 60 minutes is 1 hour. So 5 will be 6 and the minutes stay as is so it's 6 15 p.m so is 5 6 15 our ending time yes the problem says 
that the picnic starts at 6.15. So we, does our answer make sense? Yes. How do we explain? We just explained it together everywhere on the slide. Now, I want you to go and pay, solve page 672 by yourself. If you have any questions, don't forget to send me on Class Dojo and have a great day.